<clears throat> All right, I think we got it fixed here. I think we got it fixed. Let me get this shared real quick. Let everybody filter back in. You hear me now? Can you hear me? Bueller. Bueller, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? All right, good, good deal. Good deal. All right, I'm going to let a couple people filter in, and then we will get rolling. We will get uh, rolling. What's up, JW? Ben Wells, welcome. Sorry. Uh, you know what happens when you... I haven't been on a desktop stream since the Tuesday, the week before I left for Florida. So I haven't had to use... I haven't had to use uh, this at all because any of my streams had just been live from my phone doing my walk vlogs. I've been doing a lot of recorded video uploads. So I haven't even had to test it and uh, whatnot. So, all right, my brother Lance came through for me again. I appreciate it, brother. If you're still on here, quick, all your help. He is the man, he is the wizard, he is the machine. We got that fixed. We got through that pretty quick. It was uh, something that his eyes can see that I can't see, man. It's just, it's it's one of those things. So we'll let a couple people filter in. We had a bunch of people in here, and then we had that whole audio issue. So people were probably like, what's wrong with this guy? He needs a, uh, he needs a uh, OBS walkthrough. But uh, I kind of do. I'm not the greatest. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not the greatest when it comes to OBS. I'm not the greatest when it comes to a lot of this stuff. That's why I have people like Lance. You got to have good IT people. You got to have good people that know how to do things. So when you get into situations like that, you can get through them. You can get them fixed and you can get them taken care of fast. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're here. So I'm only showing four people in here. I think we had quite a few more in earlier. I'm going to refresh this real quick and then I'm just going to start getting into it. Uh, we actually have three now. So, all right, well... A lot of people were asking for it, so I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to bring you through this. What's up, Treasure Trolls, Michigan? So any of you guys that want to know the basics with Discord, we are going to walk through them. Am I going to be able to, to do certain crazy things for you? And, uh, you know, like back-end server, like, knowledge and that? No, this is basics, guys. This is basically when you're coming here, you're you're learning how to completely set up your profile for your own deal so you can put your links for your YouTube, for your Twitter, how you can post things, images, share links. If you're if you're a breaker and you're trying to fill breaks, I'm basically going to show you how to set up your profile today and then on top of that, I am going to show you what I would like to see in our Discord for the hobby and for the IRL streamers so that we make sure we're using this to the best that we can. This tool can be an amazing tool. It can be a well-oiled machine. And when it is, you guys, you're going to see awesome things come out of it. So let's get into it. Let's get to it. And let's get grinding. So here's the first thing we're going to start with. We are going to start with setting up our profile. You guys... Obviously got in, you may have gotten your picture changed, you might have done whatever, but you may not have added your links or done any of that. So the first thing you're going to do when you're in Discord is at the bottom here, you're going to see where it says Deafness 45, you see where my mouse is, I'm doing this all on screen so you guys can see this. So you can actually mute, like mute or unmute if you, want, if you don't want voice calls or you don't want to hear a voice call, if someone were to create a voice call and you were into it. You can mute or unmute it, right? Again, you can deafen it. But the main thing we're going to look at is the user settings, okay? So if I click on this, it's going to bring this screen up now, right? It's got my username. So if I click edit right here, I could change my username. If I want to update my, my picture, if I want to change my picture, I can simply click on this right here, and I can select a different picture and change it and upload it. Simple, right? Change your password if you need to. If you want to delete your account or disable your account, you can do it here. Make sure when you make these changes, you hit save, all right? So that's save there. Now, up here is going to be like your account, your privacy and safety settings. So, I mean, you can 
change this, keep me safe, so you so it scans direct messages more from you. You can set this to whatever you want to set it to and adjust it. You can allow or disallow DM messages. So direct messages, if you don't want direct messages at all from anybody, regardless, you can simply turn it off. Okay? So you just do it that way. Who can who can add you as a friend? You can adjust who could add you as a friend if you want to. You can make it just service, server server members. So who's in your server? Which this would be called our server, the Deafness Forty Five channel or whatever. That's technically the Deafness Forty Five server, right? That's the community server. So you can do it that way. You can do it. You know, I mean, a lot of this stuff is pretty simplistic. You just kind of read through it. You can adjust and change where you want to where you want to make or where you want to make those changes. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Hope everybody is well. Baseball game guy, Truth, Preston, Treasure Trolls, Polly, my boy, Junk Wax. Uh, we're going to go through this. But here's where the cool things are. Authorized apps. Um, you don't really have to worry about that. But here's, here's one thing you want to look at. Connections. Okay? Do you see this? Do you see where my Twitter is? Link to my profile and my YouTube is linked in my profile. You can either display them on your profile or disable them. If you click this, it'll disable whatever you put on. This is how you do it. You click on these, it's going to ask you. You're going to have to go through a thing and link it. It's going to authorize it, right? You just have to make sure yes. Then when people go to your profile and they click on whatever, they can find these. So another way, another tool, if you're looking to get people to your other social media devices whether it's youtube subscribers whether it's uh more followers on twitter whether it's uh what i call fake book facebook you know whatever you have out there heck xbox spotify twitch if you're a if you're a twitch gamer twitch streamer you have a twitch account you can link all of those in there okay billing you don't have to worry about i mean that's if you if you're paying through something or whatever you want to do um, this more or less I deal with. We do have the Discord uh, Nitro. We have the upgraded Discord. Now you got your app settings. So you have your voice and audio settings, right? So you can test your mic. You can change your input levels on the mic. The output levels, right? So these are more or less settings for when you're streaming or if you're in a voice chat or something. All right, notifications, you can enable, disable, uh, text-to-speech notifications. Again, you can change everything, mute, unmute right here as well if you want to. Uh, just activity feed if you want to generate that. Text and images, again, you can adjust how you want those to go. When either you're putting an image up or you're, you're putting something with an image, you can show emoji reactions on messages. I mean, a lot of this stuff is stuff you'll dive into more when you get uh, more, you know, more acquainted with it. And then under appearance, you can change. So this is what the appearance looks like right now. You can change it to light if you want. You can change it to dark. Okay. Message display. You can do it cozy. You can do it compact, so it doesn't show the avatar and the images, and it brings it closer. These are simple, simplistic things. You can change the font size if you want, like the font scaling. So if you want it bigger or smaller, or the, just keep it the same, that's fine. That's up to you. That's how you want to keep it. Streamer mode, I wouldn't really even worry about much uh right now as far as that goes that's another advanced setting we're doing basics the basics right now okay so how do we get back out of this we just click escape right here right okay now next thing up here okay you're going to have your home tab if you have direct messages with someone it's going to be up here so you can click on that to switch to the direct message I just did a test with him to make sure everything was fine. It worked. I can then just, in here, obviously, you would just type back, right? Was just testing. Enter, right? 
so then I can go here and here's all where my direct messages will be with people. So you can adjust, you can change to who you're direct messaging with, right? And then that's where you would go and you would change. And then here's where your servers are going to be, your other servers that you're you're in besides the DefDes45 server. So this is how you change your toggle between those servers, right? So we have the DefDes45 one. I actually created a DefDes DFS one a while ago. I don't even use it. I'm going to deactivate it. And then my boy, the IRL streamer, Young's Vlog. So I'm in his Discord as well. Uh, that's actually active. That's got things going on. You can add servers right here, right? So you can create a server, build a server, whatever. Uh, server discovery, you can search things, whatever. And then obviously you can download different apps, right? Okay, so let's go back in. Just click here. I would just click here to go back to the deal. Now, to the right side of this, you're going to see whatever server you're in, which we're in the Deafness 45 server right now, you're going to see which moderators are active right now. So Ed is active from Arcade in a Box Card Breaks. Joe C is actually idle or sleeping, but it's showing you the, the moderators. All the other moderators are going to be active. Online, these are who are either online in idle or they're online, right? If it shows a green, it's going to do that. If you click over that, it's going to show idle, right? This is telling us it's online, but they're actually on a on a phone versus their computer, right? That's usually how it's doing that. So we have 10 people online with that as well, plus me. We have 71 members that are offline right now. Now... How do I get, or how can I, let's say I want to, uh, let's say I want to send a message to somebody. I can simply right click, or you can left click. If you right click, for me, I can add roles to them, or a moderator could add a role right here. I could just add some kind of note. If I just wanted to message him, I could just type, hey, what's up, Dave? Hit enter. That's going to start a direct message with him. Okay? Then he can message back. Right? So it goes right into our direct messages right here. Alright? So let's go back. Oops. So now if I right click on Dave, I can look at his profile. So right now this is what it shows me. I could send him a friend request. Right? Right? If I wanted to. So we could do like a, a Discord friend request, right? So I could just click him on. Friend request sent. All right. Boom. Right? So then we can just click on outside of it. It'll bring you out of the box. So if... Now let's just go to somebody like me. If you go to my profile, I have my Twitter and my YouTube on there. So you will see the Twitter and the YouTube on there. Then people can just click right here and they can go right to my Twitter. Boom. Okay? Guys, this tool can be absolutely amazing if you guys set it up properly. Again, boom. Right? Simple. And again, to get out of there or make this disappear, I can just hit this. Okay. Now, again, if you want a direct message, you can message him this way too, right? You could call him, like on a on a Discord call. You could do a phone call, which we'll start getting into when we want to discuss certain things as a group and a topic. You can adjust the volumes, add notes. How do you pull all your messages on screen? What do you mean pull them on screen, JNW? What do you mean by that? How do you? What, what? I guess my question is, what do you? What do you mean by that? And we just got live with Blake. Just came in here, man. So we welcome, welcome, live with Blake. Whoops, I got so many things open. So we can say welcome to them. And we should be welcoming. When we see people, if you're online and you're active and you're actually in the Discord, when you see someone new come in, it says it welcomes him. But we should be saying welcome to him as well. We should 
We should be inviting him into the community, right? Okay, so j and I'm trying to... Okay, you figured it out? Yeah, they're just... You just gotta go to wherever your messages are um, and pull it up. Now, see what else. Did we go through all this? You can change your nickname if you right-click. I mean, if it's... On your, you can invite them to a different server. If there's another server you want to invite them to, you can click on whatever that server is and invite them. You can block the person. Or you can remove them as a friend. So if you're having an issue with somebody, ultimately, if there is some kind of issue going on, it should be brought up to moderators and myself, whoever, and we should try to get it figured out. Now, me, I don't know that you guys will have these because you'd have to have the permissions to do it, but I could kick him. I could ban him forever. I could also give him a role. I could make him a moderator or give him a new role right there, right? Okay, so those are kind of the basics as far as getting it set up, doing what you need to do. Um, and also, let me make sure that this link is still good. Boom, okay. All right, now, you, I mean, you can pin things, pin messages. Okay, so let's get into the channels now, guys. And let's, I'm going to tell you guys how I want to kind of see things and how, how I feel the things are going to be a success. You guys can add input. This is everybody's Discord within the community. This is our Discord, okay? This is how we're going to succeed if everybody helps out. I want to say shout out the last couple days when I've been extremely busy with a lot of other things going on. And that's just it, guys. I personally can't be in the Discord all the time. I personally can't be posting Discords. And I'm not saying I am because I've been seeing a, a lot of people posting and sharing people's links and whatever. But this is where I'm going to show you guys how you can do some of these things if you're not sure or you weren't aware of. So, um... Let's just let's just start here. So we obviously we have our text channels, right? So these are I would just call them our channels or our sub channels. It's a server, it's your channels, or I kind of call them our sub channels. So we have our general one. Now the general one for our community is basically what it is. It's general. It's going to usually welcome whoever comes in. It's for us to kind of just have general things you want to say, hey, if we're going to be going live or we're going to be doing something, we're going to be going live later today or something, or something came up and we can't go live. Uh, you know what? Things changed. I was going to go live earlier today. I can't. Okay. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to put something in. For example, came up and I can't go live later. Okay. So, we type that down here. You basically just hit, hit enter to do it. Now, if I wanted to add something, like an image or something, I could. And then it will bring up my, my desktop, or it's just like you do anything. Your, uh, you know, your uh, downloads, whatever, and then you would open it and select it, right? And then you would hit enter. That's how, that's how that would work. So, it would be like that, like boom. Okay? Now... You have your announcements. So people have something going on. Mud Dog, Mud Dog made an announcement that uh, you know you can find his break or his breaks he's on on his uh, Patreon uh, tab or link. Okay, so you guys can kind of post whatever, man. Uh, I haven't seen much being used with this. This is a good channel. This is something that can be utilized more. It just hasn't been. Okay, Chill and Chat is going to be more your hangout. You're just messing around. You're making trying to make people laugh or you're just kind of venting out it's kind of more of a a channel built for us just to kind of go and just more or less hang out your general one is more just doing you know general things general topic quick one sentence two sen sentence things whatever chill and chat is more where you're going to carry on more conversation if you're if you're having a conversation with somebody or the group it's just an ongoing thing and honestly if if you really wanted to you would uh you would just DM if it's just more direct with somebody back and forth. Start a DM with them and don't clog too much up of, of a certain sub-channel or channel, right? We got our quotes tab, so where you can post quotes, right? So that one's started. It's starting to look great. 
All right, now here's one I really want to... Here's one that, to me, I feel is very important for all of you guys. Okay, the Who is Live Now tab, right? So, I don't see the new tab... Or no, did I just share that one? I, I don't think I did. So, the new one isn't shared, so nobody shared the tab that I went live, right? Ben shared my tab from my walk earlier. Chi town shared... Uh, the test app that Ed was doing. Cowboy shared Anthony Hockey 1014's tab. Smashing shared her own tab. Spidey. Spidey's been good about sharing other tabs. True's been awesome about sharing other tabs, man. He's been he's been doing a lot, a lot in the last couple days, especially when I have not been able to be around at all. So shout out to Truth. Uh, again, Spidey's been Arena Boys has been posting a lot of tabs. Dave's in here posted for Striker. Spidey again. Missouri. Ben did Chi Town's walk. Missouri's walk. This okay, so now if you don't know how to do this, right? Here's what you do. So I'm gonna do I already posted this once, but I'm gonna do it again because there's nobody else real live. And technically, let me just refresh and make sure. All right, so yeah, there's still nobody I see that's live right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Young's vlog. They're actually performing right now. Are they... So what you're going to do is you're going to go to share right here, the share tab. And the easiest way to do it is just copy link or copy right here. My mic is in the way, so I had to. You highlight it, now it's copied. Now you can exit out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the Who's Live link. You're going to right-click. You're going to paste. You're going to hit Enter. It's now going to post the tab. Okay? Guys, if everybody is actively doing this for people and we don't need to post two or three or five or ten links even, we don't need to do it at all, guys. We just need one or one link posted one time for someone who's live. So whoever's in there and sees it, you do it, right? The more we do this, yeah, see Dave. Like Dave's just saying right now, he I have to post my own videos. But at the end of the day, he shouldn't have to. Somebody's in there watching that's in the Discord. I guarantee it. Now, if somebody's not in the Discord, obviously they can't do it. If they haven't joined it or they don't want to be a part of it or whatever... I get it. They can't do it. They can't They can't add that link. But I, I bet you anything, there's been, if what Dave's just saying right now, I bet you anything, there's at least two or three people at minimal when he goes live that are in Discord. It takes two seconds, guys. It takes two seconds to share the link in the Who is Live Now link. If we play together as a team... We're going to succeed and win. If we're not helping each other out, if we're not lending a hand and posting these links for the people and we constantly have to go in and post our own links, then there's no point of even having this. Part of this comes from everybody giving a hand. I'm even talking about breakers helping other breakers. Guys, again, I brought it up. We have... Plenty of different breakers in the in the Discord. That's what it's for. This Discord isn't a one specific breaker Discord itself. The more you play fair, the more you show you play as a team, the more more the more more people are going to get attached to that and see that. And most people are going to like that. Now I'm sure there's gonna be some trolls and there's gonna be some people that are uh eh, they watch that and they go Oh, yeah, right, I'm all about myself or whatever. Hey, teach their own, right? We can't we can't get everybody to to want to be to want to play fair, want to participate and want to help. I get it. And I'm not saying that what I'm what I'm telling you is right. I'm telling you my personal opinion, how I see this working and succeeding, this is what I feel needs to happen. Okay? Now that's with that tab. Now we got the YouTube channels to check out. There's a ton of them in here, guys, and that's awesome. 
But again, so like Arena, I think your channel is already posted in here. And like right here, guys, even me, even me, I'm typing in here. This isn't one that we should be doing a lot of other texting in. We should simply be posting the channel's link. This is not a video. This is not a specific upload video link. This is a channel link, okay? So again, like it's fine if someone says, like Trout says, thanks to Chai. Like if someone's like giving them a quick thanks or whatever, I think that's cool. Me, personally, myself, I shouldn't be typing in here. This isn't where it should go. It should technically just be channels and the channel link, not a specific video link. So how do you post your channel link? Uh, let's just go to crazies here quick. I'm gonna pause this. So we'll just click on his icon there. That's the easiest, right? So here is his here is his uh here's his channel, right? Uh, I'm always used to doing this mobile now. Uh but what do you write? Trying to think of oh yeah, it's well, that's going to be the link. So where's the channel link? Where's the share on this for his channel? I always do it mobile. So I'm not... Uh, I'm stuck here for a second, guys. Anybody know? Anybody know? I mean, I can go here. Anybody know where the link is for his? Why do they make this so tricky? It's so different from mobile. Uh, la, 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 la. I can't see from my... I guess the easiest way you do it here, I thought there was another way, but you would just go up like, if you go to his channel, click on his avatar, you go right here. I would just go up to the URL, I guess, and just right-click, copy, and then you would right-click, paste. Now, I'm not going to, well, we can do it again, I guess, just to show. So then that's going to show, that's going to post his um, his YouTube link. So you want... You want any new channels, and there's going to be a bunch of channels in here, guys. Just make sure the channels... I know Mud Dogs is already posted in here, but I just did that as an example. There's going to be tons of channels posted in here, and that's what it's for. It's have everybody's channels in here. Like, honestly, I don't even think my channel's posted in here. Which is fine. I mean, I'll put mine in there at some point, but... So everybody's channels are in here. You can see who posts it, whatever, but we got to utilize these things. Okay, now this is the next one, too. Latest videos. So this is where you're going to put your latest video. So to do that, again, there's a couple different ways you can do it. But you could just click. You can go onto the video, or if you're in the video, you can either click on the share... Or you can also do like I did for the channel where you can just copy it, right click, copy, and then go in there and paste, right? Or you can go through the share link, you can copy it, and then you can just... Latest videos. Now every time you see a new video posted within the community, right? It's not posted in there. You don't see it in there for somebody else. Post the link. It's simple. It's easy, guys. Okay? So, again, you guys feel comfortable? Yeah, I, I already figured it out. I Yeah, the Beezus thing is just... No, it's... Yeah, it's sharing copy on the videos, but it's not on the... If you go to the channel. There's no share right here. It's not like on the videos. If you share, you have to click on an actual video, and then that's going to actually share that specific video link. So the thing to do on the... 
just copy, copy paste. So, all right. Um, I will, I will. I'm getting to it. I'm, I got to go through all these. I'm going through them one at a time. All right. So, this is another one that I have not seen being utilized too much for you breakers out there. When you have a break or you see a breaker you break with breaks coming up and you they have a link for it and they're, they're selling whatever, list the link in here. If you have a link, sharing a link is going to work much better than just doing this. And I'm just personally being honest because they have to click to you, go find your website link, do all that, which is fine. They'll still get there. But if you actually have a link or you see a link where you can actually copy and paste the link to the specific break. So let's just let's just click here because we can go to her website real quick. So let's just do this. I'm going to copy. So this is a 32. I don't know if she filled this yet or not. And maybe there isn't a link for it. Okay. But maybe they're just filling it. Right. But this would be the link right here when you get to the actual product page for whatever it is. So this this personal box of 2019 Leaf Game Use Sports product. If there isn't a copy link thing on the page... Then you just do the same thing. You take this, copy, now when you're selling breaks, look what happens. I don't have to go through everything. It gets me right there, guys. Simplistic things, small things will make a difference have the link there so you can they can get you right away and if you're posting a link for somebody a breaker or whatever they're selling post that link and have the actual link this is great guys and this is what's filling so he's giving like ben at midwest great dude i love the guy he's giving you like what he's got left so he's telling you different things but what, even, what would even be more awesome is if he posted this, like if Ben did, and then he also posted a link for each one of these that he's selling so that we can just click the link and go right to it. If I'm like, hey, cool, there, I want to get in that Optic Baseball tiered with nine left, I don't have to go to his website. I don't have to search his website. I want to click, I want to go, and I want to get it done. Someone like me, I don't have time to go filtering around, blah, 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 blah. And some people do and some people don't. I'm telling you guys, the easier you make things for people, the more successful you will become. Now, I think we're cool on that. And again, it's not, there's nothing wrong. I'm giving you guys my best practices my personal things that I think are going to help you all succeed better and make things easier, okay? So I'm not, I'm not harping on you. I'm just trying to motivate you to make things easier for your customers to find you and get to the exact thing that you're selling. Boom. All right. So utilize this. I mean, this is good. But it's not being utilized the way I personally feel it could be for all you guys that, that are breakers. Okay? So, again. All right. We have a struggling tab. You know me. I've struggled a lot in my life. Hell, I've struggled the last 48 hours. It's been it's been nothing but a nothing but a fight. But I'm still standing, I'm still pushing forward. And I'm going to continue to. Struggling tab. This is our channel for those. Who have something going on that want that want to have that want to have someone to talk to, right? They don't. They feel like they don't have someone to talk to, maybe, or they just want to let things out and they they want to see if anybody can can lend them a hand and give them some advice and give them some words of encouragement. I think it's a beautiful thing. 
I think it could be used even more than it is. Okay? So the struggling channel is exactly that. You have something going on. Something in life is tough right now. You're fighting a depression. You're fighting a uh, an addiction. Something in your family's not right right now. And I'm not saying everybody has to tell us what's going on in your life. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you want to, this is a great tool. People will read. People will listen. People will try to help the best they can. Yes, none of us are psychologists. We're not doctors. We're not Dr. Phil. We're not trying to change the world. We're simply trying to help and lend a hand. Okay? And that's what that tab is for. Now, previous uploaded videos. Now, this is where this is a little different than latest videos. Latest videos would be you do an upload that wasn't live or after your live stream is uploaded, you would post that link or somebody would post that link for you right when it's done, okay? The difference here is the previous uploads is things that were beyond the latest. So you have videos you want to post on there or you you a friend's video, uh, edit, edit, edit Arcade in a Box. He's got a cool break where he hit a monster crazy card that was a month ago and you want to share that link back and it's not in the videos that's what that previous uploads tab is for okay guys so it's not for your latest one your latest one the latest upload or the latest you see for someone is in the latest videos the previous uploads is for the ones beyond that last one going back if you want to upload them okay post your pc list here, right here, you can post what you PC. So in the hobby card community, we can help each other. Maybe work out some trades, get some ideas. This is not the trading page. This is where you simply post your PC. But then maybe somebody will go, Oh, hey, Spidey from Around the Boys. He likes Glaber Torres and Kyle Tucker. And he's a super collector of them both. I have an awesome Glaber Torres that I think he might like that maybe I could either sell to him or trade to him. Then I can go over to the selling and trading tab and I can post it and I could even I could even at Spidey. So the way I would do that is I'd go boom at Spidey. You start typing this thing, you don't have to spell it out, it's gonna eventually bring it, it'll bring everything that starts with SP. And you go boom! And then you can say, hey brother. I have a Glaber for you. You might like. And then just hit enter. I'm not going to post it because I don't have a Glaber for him. I know of offhand that he might like. But you you get the idea. And when you're chatting in anything, when you see somebody and somebody asks you a question, I kind of forgot this or went to go over this, make sure you at back them though. So at back them like... If they ask you a specific question, hey, at Deafness45, try to do it because sometimes in the in the uh, the scroll or the stream or whatever, the log, other people are chatting in between two and they might miss it. That way it's also going to tell them on their notifications they're going to see the at and they know that somebody replied back to you and got back to you, okay? So these are two huge channels as well in this Discord that I think people could really take advantage of, all right? ideas now these are ideas that anybody in the discord in the community in the discord can go in and they can post if they have something cool that will work with the discord uh, an idea they want to share with breakers about a cool different way that maybe they could try or they could think about uh maybe there's it could be discord related youtube related a stream idea i mean for content whatever it might be but you can post these in here. So, like Ed, one thing I'm looking to bring to my channel on Friday is Pack Wars. Complete with a way for the chat to vote for the winner, which sounds awesome. Winners get both packs, losers get Constellation Wax Pack. This is going to make it all crazy over the top like Monster Truck Show or something. Might take some time. He's sharing that. Sharing his ideas. Now, you can either be a team player, whether another breaker is your competition or not. Competition is good, people. 
good business relationship is good too, people. We can work together here. We can make things a lot better. D3C TV, he replied back to him, and you see where he did this right here? He replied to him first thing at, letting him know it was replied back to him specifically. What about if you build sets and missing some cards and there were a post about the cards? Yeah, I mean, yeah, so these are all ideas you guys can put in the tabs. Are each of the channels searchable? Like, if I wanted to see what Deafness PC is, can I search that page? Uh, you can do a search right here. So you can search a user. You can search mentions. So you could search everything that... Uh, do I got to put a capital D, maybe? So anything that has my name in it is right here. So you could scroll through and you could search anything that has any users attached. I mean, you could do that. Again, you could search by, by name by mentions in a user, from a specific user, before a date, if you want to get specific, more a date, during, after, in a specific channel. So, and then, like, you got your history here of who you searched, when you searched them. So. Blood X, man. Welcome, brother. Thanks for popping in, my man. Yeah, Blood X is the man, dude. Make sure you guys sub him. He does a lot of grow, grow streams, a lot of cool stuff. If you guys get involved, if you're looking to grow your channel, that's somewhere you guys need to be. I talked about it on my walk vlog when he popped in. So, uh, yeah, well, you can, that. yeah, it's just de Deafness45 with a capital D. Now, if you need a link, we need to send you a link. I post the links. Honestly, guys, if you go and you guys can post the link in your YouTubes and stuff too, if you want to, if you want to uh, share it, so people have the link. Again, this is everybody's Discord for the hobby. What you do, if you're on PC, if you need to go to it or you don't have it, you can simply go right here and just click on it, and then you can accept your invite and just go in, and then it'll welcome you. Okay. So you can also, I usually post it in my description of my videos too. You guys can add it to your to your YouTubes as well as you want. You don't have to. I'm just saying you can. Okay? So that's the ideas tab. Let me just make sure I haven't missed anything here. Uh, yes. Yeah, Blood X is a big time helping everybody grow. Let's go. Let's grow, baby. Yes, I mean these are these are just simple things. You see, guy, look in the C three. Go look in the Discord now about your question. What what was his question? What about if you build sets and missing some cards? Is there a way where you can post? Yeah, so again, you could post that in your in the ideas tab, and then we can between moderators we can add it. So we could be we could add a channel. Uh, Looking, looking for like set building or whatever we want to name it. That's fine. Shout outs. You guys can shout out people. Now again, this would normally be you shouting out somebody else. Like, you know, or whatever. And again, we shouldn't be... I'm even doing combos in here. We shouldn't be doing combos in here. We shouldn't be doing a lot of combos in any channels in here besides general, chill and chat. I mean, that would really be it. Again, you can reply to somebody and say, nice or awesome or I love it or whatever, but the more we can minimize that and keep the chatting within general and chill and chat, the easier and the better it's going to be, okay? So shout-outs. You can, if you want to shout-out somebody, you can uh, you can post someone out. So again, uh, we shouldn't be posting Patreon links in our shout-outs. These are shouting out other people saying, hey, Shout out to shout out to Truth, man. He's been holding it down. So, I 
That's what we would be using this for. Something like that. Okay? So, pay, like, links. Those those Patreon links and stuff, that would go in um, your websites or your whatever. And we'll get to those. Okay? So, we got shout-outs. We got podcasts to check out. So, you can actually post Ed. Post an awesome breaker culture podcast that you can check out you can listen to okay so this is where you'd post those podcast links guys it can be anything the person doesn't have to be in discord to have their link shared or a breaker i don't care if people don't want to join discord they don't have to join discord if they don't want to this is simply a tool that i feel that can be very helpful and can do a lot of big things for a lot of people and get them some growth and rapid sales once we get everything in place in the way it's supposed to be. But they don't have to join it. But we can still share their stuff unless they tell us they don't want us to share their links. If they tell us not to, then we don't. But we're going to be, we're going to share everybody's stuff. We're going to, I mean, anybody in the community, anybody, whatever, we're, that's how we're going to be. We're going to continue to be a positive moving forward community okay so that means shouting out everybody helping out whatever sharing their links discord links so if you have a discord you can do that now to have a discord i mean it's kind of i mean unless you're creating a discord to do something else or something different or you just want to have like a a smaller within community discord yeah that's fine like mid ben from midwest has one he's had for a long time it's pretty much all his people he buys and whatever but uh you're probably not i mean unless you're doing a lot of stuff in there it's gonna be more for conversation piece whatever so i mean discord links you can add them in there you can do what you want uh, IRL IRL live streamers i 100 support IRL live streaming because I do some IRL, so like Young, like Lefty, uh, they're both awesome. There's other IRL streamers out there, but these are the main ones that I guess I support, I share links of. Uh, if you guys haven't checked them out, it's very awesome. Nini as well, Nini Tangerine. Um, I just, I guess I've been busy the last two days. She was live the other day, but I never got her link in there. And again, shame on me. That's where these things we need to fix. We need all of us. We need to get the links shared where they need to be shared, okay? In real life streaming, IRL streaming. Deftness, for previous years on Discord, I noticed that when you have too many text channels that it can hurt the overall Discord because people are just not going to check it. And that's possible. But at the same time, this is such a wide... We're not... We're not... This Discord right here is a discord that's probably going to get pretty big and it's going to get pretty big because the hobby itself abroad is huge right and irl because we do a lot of streaming and irl kind of intermixes with that and then we also have because of what i like to have the struggling side people going through addiction and things like that to have a place where people can go i get it man i think it's i think it's fine we haven't been going, what, two weeks? And look at where we're at. I think it's helping a lot of people. The problem is, I just think a lot of people don't understand or, or don't have a full grasp on how it really works. So this is why we're doing this now. And people don't really understand the expectations or where we, where we want to see things or where we want it to get to, okay? I don't know why I got my page on there. I don't need mine up. Um... But uh, music to jam to. So, again, if you want to find some jams, you want to check some new artists out or a jam that maybe you see that might put you in a mood, you can post it in there or you can check them out. My story, this is a cool tab, actually. But, again, we got a lot of conversation going on, and I get it. We should almost take that to, like, a DM or a direct message uh, if they both want it or will allow it. Um but again, this is where you'd post your story or Chai Town had some great lyrics he wrote down, basically what he was feeling. D3C TV told his story driving, which was awesome. Got I really got to know him more. Um, and again, I'm not saying everybody has to share their own story or what they're going through. That's not what I'm saying. This is for people who want to, okay? 
uh breaker advice ideas so this is more for the breakers so a place the breakers can go if they want to help each other out they want to give each other ideas i don't see much going on there again maybe it's more a breakers don't want to help other breakers thing but at the end of the day i think uh i think that's that's i think personally i think that's the wrong way to go about it personally my own opinion but i've been there i've been a breaker i i i've always been about helping others but that's for everybody else to figure out all right breakers websites again so now this is where you would just post your actual website link you're not posting a specific break you know whatever you should not only have your link in here though for your website you should also have if you have a schedule you should have your schedule like right below it or post it as soon as you can with it it should all be posted together that way people know when you break or when they can find you or when they can when they can see your live right so I would not only have your website link posted, but I'd have when you are specifically breaking what days. Now, if it's if it changes, then you really can't post a schedule. You can just have your link in there, right? Moderator's room. That's where moderators can talk. Auctions only. So this is where we can now post when an auction's coming up, right? So... I mean, I could even post one right now. This you can give people a heads up. You know, when an auction is going to be coming up. Give them some advance. Let them know. Now, I go every Tuesday. It's nothing new. Usually at six, most people know that. But again, there might be new people in here. So again, doing that is not the end of the world. It's it's not the worst thing to do, right? So you can post when you have auctions going on, when they're happening. Giveaways. If you have any kind of giveaways that you're doing, you have coming up, you're going to be doing some specific giveaway, a 500 sub giveaway, a 1,000 sub giveaway. You're giving away a, a specific card uh in a break tonight whatever it might be you can post that in there if you'd like uh, i don't know channel milestone giveaways i guess that might be something more for like if you go in what what you're going to if you hit 1k what your giveaway is going to be mine's going to be on friday the 13th we're finally going to hit that 24-hour stream for the thousand subscriber giveaway that would probably be a channel my, milestone giveaway of me it's going to have a mantle it's going to have multiple multiple hobby packs like tons of stuff there's just gonna be tons of things going on there's gonna be uh credits applied for like back in the game there's just gonna be a lot of different things happening so that would be something there charity donations anybody that has something going on with charity or with donations uh you know we have our deal we still have to get i told truth about this the other day we all need to figure out when we're gonna do that auction i've had cards personally sent to me uh for that auction for the community in need or in help um it's going to be one specific auction i think what might end up happening is i think that might be rolled into part of the 24-hour stream that i do on friday the 13th so we'll get more details we'll figure that out as we tie it in with it um paypal links now these are your PayPal links. If you want to post your PayPal link in here so they have an easy way of finding you. You know when you're in auctions. You know when you need to send money to somebody. Sometimes you don't know their PayPal. You may ask them. They may not see it. They may have uh, stopped. You know, they might have stopped the stream and you forgot to ask. You got to hunt them. If you want to make it simplistic and easy, people have an option to go if you have it posted in here you're better off posting if you don't i will get mine in there truth actually just created this earlier today um or somebody did one of them did one of the mods so we can create a, or i'll put mine in there as well but get it in there there's there's i mean it's it should be secure i mean i don't know why it wouldn't be for you um and then this is cards needed for set building which we just discussed what was just brought up so if there's certain things that you are looking for cards to finish a set 
you can post it in there. And if you're somebody who buys a lot of cards and you have a lot of commons or you have a lot of, you know, vet cards, basic, whatever, you can go through those and you can see if you have anything they're looking for. And maybe you can make a deal, whether, depending on what the cards are, hell, maybe even just send them to whoever, if you have them. If it's five common cards, you say, hey, you cover the shipping and I'll send them or I'll PWE, you know, if they're fine with that. I'm not big in PWE, but, you know, to each their own. So, guys, it feels good to share. Understand if you don't, but the weightlifted. Yeah, I mean, and that's, and again, everybody, anybody, I think it's easier to help if people ask questions. Yes, yes. Mailing addresses is somebody who wants to post their mailing. I don't, I don't, I don't personally want to do that. Um, unless they're P.O. boxes, having a lot of people with their own uh, addresses, I mean, even though we should all trust each other, yeah, that should be a DM. So you can DM the person through Discord or DM them another way, but it would just be as easy to use it through Discord. You can DM the person and ask them for it. You know, if you bought something from them or they're going to send it. Now, if everybody had P.O. boxes, that would be a different story. I mean, we'd be like, yeah, we could we could post P.O. boxes all day, but no. Yeah. If it's P.O. boxes, I mean, it's fine, but it's, again, it's just easier to probably direct message because not everybody's going to have a P.O. box. A lot of people won't. So, um, I think it's easier to help if people, have, yeah, exactly, it is, Ed. Can you make sub-channels? I... <clears throat> I see and some of this stuff I'm still picking up. I mean, I know the basics, but so overview permissions. This channel. Send messages enable. I don't see any I don't see anything on that specific. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think that is? I would just scroll up and down to see how the channels might hurt things. I don't know. I, I really... Yeah, I mean, I guess we can kind of go where it is. But again, I think creating sub-channels. So, if we're already complaining about how many channels there are, starting to create sub-channels is going to just add a lot more, personally. Yeah, I tried too. I don't see anything. So... What's up, Tux? What are you... Oh, you're just pointing up. Okay. Something you had asked? What's up, Dreamer? Awesome. Look at Dreamer at 606. But guys, I'm going to add in a couple things here uh, before I get off. I think we got what we need here. Uh, do you guys have any other questions for me? We were about an hour in. I got a fantasy football draft in 20 minutes. That whole no audio really threw me for a loop on that first one. Read your other message. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, I totally didn't. I was like, I see it now. I was scanning. I was scanning for your met other messages, and I didn't see it the first time I looked up. I think I scro scrolled up too far. That's going to be awesome. I still, man, I thank you so much, brother. I'll do, I'll make sure I do a video and shout you out. I'll make a, I'll do a, a record video. And that's the thing, guys. A couple things I talked about real quick uh, before we get going here and before I have the, uh, which other messages? That's it. I, oh, yeah, I read the ones up top. That should be here. Should be here. 
Dude, that's awesome, man. That is so awesome. Be there Tuesday. Wait till you guys see what old Tux got me. Tux cards. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Let me see if there's anything else. Again, guys, if we help each other out, if we really... Uh-oh. He said he may have sent some extras. You shouldn't have even sent that, brother. Dang it. Mud Dog, what's up, man? If you missed this, you're going to want to go back and watch this. I just pretty much went through everything. This will really help you and teach you. I have a fantasy football draft in like 19 minutes, but I'm going to close with a few things, okay? Um, one is if we start utilizing this a little bit more and a little bit more efficiently with some of the stuff we covered and went over, I think a lot of you are going to see an increase in a lot of different areas and a lot of things. Okay, what's up, Chai Town? How you doing, brother? Thanks for holding down and with all the Discord love in the last couple of days when I haven't been around. Um, yes, yes, Mud Dog. If you put the man back together, the world will fall into place. That's right. He's got that actually in the quotes tab, even on on Discord under quotes. It's a great, great, great one. So. Utilizing this properly. Now, I talked about this in the walk vlog a little bit for those of you who weren't there and missed it. Maybe all of you were. I don't I don't know. But um, I don't know exactly who I was. I was on mobile. But um, people who are wanting to grow their channel and are still staying pretty stagnant and not really moving at a really great rate... are probably the same ones that when I'm in specific growth channels that we post in the Who's Live when they're live. Blood X, who was in here. He may not be in here anymore, but he was. Blood X. Ralph's Trucking, who, we got, who was found through back in the game, actually. Farmall. Guys like that. You guys need... To pop in there when you can. And you guys need to be actively engaged in subscribing and checking other channels out. And when you subscribe to the channels, make sure that you go and watch one of their videos. Leave some kind of comment. I always like to try to say you leave more of a unique comment, right? So they really know that you actually watched or paid attention. And just... Make sure you subscribe and leave that comment. And you know what's going to happen is you're going to get a lot more. You're going to get a lot more love back, and you're going to see your channel continue to climb and grow. Now it's not really just a sub for sub channel. It's you know like oh hey just give me the sub sub. No, like it's being actively engaged. And checking it out and watching something and letting them know that you watched their channel. Letting them know something unique about one of the videos. That's how I like to say it. And then leaving a comment. Another thing. I'm going to leave this with the last thing before I get out of here, guys. I'm going to tell you this one more time. Your mail day videos... You're opening boxes of product, which again, I told you guys I had two of these Sterling inner boxes. I picked up like early Friday morning. I still have not opened, which I'm going to open. That's how hectic and crazy and busy my last 48 hours have been. I'm going to try to do that after my draft tonight. But do all those things as recorded videos. Upload them. They're going to then drop into recommendeds for more people. Your live videos fall under a live, but they don't, after they're done, the live video doesn't usually show up in a recommended. Okay? So, unless you're doing like a fan mail day, like maybe like Jabs or somebody on Friday, where he's opening all this mail up and then he's giving it away, record those videos. Go live if you're doing breaks, filling breaks, breaking for people who bought into spots, 
uh, auctions, which that's all I'll go live for. And then I do like my daily walk vlog because that's a IRL style uh, video. But guys, I go live a lot less now. In fact, this video, I would have probably done just as a regular recorded video, but I don't know how to utilize... I told you, I'm not a genius with OBS. I don't know how to utilize OBS with um, with like recording it and then uploading it. I, you know, I can do recorded videos on my phone all day, every day. Like, you know, and just, then just upload it and whatever. But I couldn't, I can't figure it out. So I pretty much had to do this live. But I think the other thing with doing this live is, is it helped for you guys to get questions, ask questions. If we, you know, if we could cover them or if we could do them, then that'd be great. Yeah, man. Douglas Coffee, Coffee. Yeah, man. I, exactly. That's where I, that's where I met Douglas through. Guys, don't be afraid to branch out. You need to get support and love from other communities, other other interests, per se. And that only opens up the gates for more. And for you breakers that are like, well, you know, whatever. Don't tell me there's no there's no truck drivers that don't are that aren't into sports cards or that aren't into to buying into brakes. Lefty. Lefty Beetle, one of the IRL streamers, he used to be big into sports cards. Ever since he he kind of seen me through Young's vlog because I've known Young for a long time, and he's just now started streaming. He's told me that he's going to get a hold of me sometime here soon and talk a little more about cards because he's really interested. Guys, so many different windows can open up. You can grow at crazy speeds. You can expand. You can make your channel whatever you want to make your channel, right? It's up to you, though. If you're growing a couple su subscribers at a time, or you're like, oh, I'm getting two a week, or two every two weeks, or whatever, I can almost bet you that I don't see you in any of the streams that I'm in, in like the grow streams or any of the other ones, that we share in the live now on the Discord. Be active. Be engaged. Help each other out. Support each other. If we do this, man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I, 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 I don't even know. I don't even know. Talks, you still waiting on the Discord for link? Can somebody post a Discord? Here, I'll do it right now. Nightbot will take care of it for you in a second, bro. It'll pop up in a second. Let 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 uh, Nightbot wake up here. Yeah, and, and and Big D's. We all have different time zones, but I think there's some of these other grow channels that do them. They spread them out. Like there's people that do them later. There's some people that do them whatever. Just do them whenever you, whenever you can. And again, make sure you're watching other people's videos that are in our community and commenting unique comments. Because then you know what happens? When there's other people that aren't subscribed to you, that don't know you, and they go to leave a comment, and they grow, they scroll through, do you know what I do personally? I go to some channels. Most of the time when I leave a comment, I scroll through and I see. I see who am I subscribed to, who am I not subscribed to. And then I check out their channel, and I go, is this something I like? Is this something I enjoy? Okay, yeah. Something down my alley. Something I like. You got to put the work in. The more you put in, the more you get out. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you. Listen to me. Be active. Do what you need to do. Work it around your schedule. I'm not saying you have to be on YouTube or Discord 24 hours a day. Not what I'm saying. Utilize your time properly. Okay, I got a fantasy football draft to go to here in about ten minutes. It's gonna—I don't even know what I'm picking right now because I've been busy on this, trying to get this through. Can we get a little bit of hype in the chat, boys, before we leave here? Hype in the chat, boys! Hype in the chat!
I'm waiting. All right. Guys, it's all up to you. You guys control your destiny. And how big or how small we want to make this Discord is up to each and every one of you. Me, all of us. It's bigger than one person. Let's go. Let's grow.